Hello YouTube, this is We All Juggle Knives with the Mora Pathfinder, a 6.75 inch blade length, high carbon steel, and it has a black coating. Now you see, compared to most other Mora knives, this is a lot longer. It's also wider. Now why would you want a 6 and 3 quarter inch knife instead of a 3 or 4 inch knife? Well, you know, that, that's up to you, but it's good that they give you that option. Now, I tested this knife out, and the footage, the demonstration footage is coming up. But you can see that blade, I beat on it just to make sure that it's a good knife. All right, but before the demo, let me just give you a closer look there. Now, the handle is actually the same as on many other Moras. Now you see the Scandinavian grind with the pronounced bevel. This is also a very pointed knife. Now the blade thickness on this is one eighth of an inch. One eighth of an inch. The tang is a three quarters tang, meaning it goes uh, inside that handle, it goes down three quarters of the way to the pommel. All right, and the grip is a semi soft rubbery material. Okay, the demo is coming up. Enjoy. People always want to know if you can strike the spine of your knife against uh, fire steel and generate sparks. Absolutely. With this knife, like I said, it is carbon steel, and the spine of the knife has extremely sharp 90 degree angles. So even with this uh, freebie fire starter, plenty of sparks. All right, I'm going to show you how sharp the knife is. You see there how it uh, bites into this branch. So you can make a pile of shavings if you want, you know, to use with your fire starter. Or you can shape a branch just however you need to shape a piece of wood. But my point is, uh, it comes very sharp, and Mora knives in general will come very sharp right out of the box. Okay, so you have to be careful. Now, I'm not specifically trying to uh, make a feather stick. I'm just trying to show you how it bites into the wood. Uh, however, you see me like accidentally kind of making a feather stick there. But my point is it's a very sharp knife, so if you did want to make a feather stick, it would be well capable of doing so. It can baton um, smaller pieces of wood. I wouldn't really recommend it for larger. All right, with this technique, you stab your knife into something with the blade, the edge facing away from you, and then with a powerful pulling motion, you can pull a piece of wood right um, across the edge and you can then either make shavings or just thin out a piece of wood if you need to shape a piece of wood. Now here I am drilling what's called a divot. A divot is uh, like a dimple or a depression in a piece of wood. And this has a very pointed tip and a fairly strong tip. So basically you can use it like a drill and you can drill a divot into your piece of wood. All right, so, and a divot, divots are used in certain, like, um, primitive methods of fire starting. All right, so there's your little divot there, drilling a divot. Now, here what I'm doing is just uh, making this piece of wood more pointed. Now, if you had a longer piece of wood, you could make yourself a spear. You know, you could um, make a wooden spear. I'm just making a little, like, wooden stake. And you see the, you know, the point of it. It's, it's going to be taking shape. Uh, now, for example, you know, you could make, like, an improvised, like, tent, tent stake or something. You could pretend it's Rambo and make, like, uh, a whole bunch of wooden spikes on a trap. And like I said, you can make little spears, big spears. 
So there you go. And I'm just planting it now. Using um, the butt of the knife as a little bit of a hammer there. Yeah, so planting our little our, uh, tent stake there. Okay, making more shavings. This knife really is quite good at shaping pieces of wood. Uh, you can see those shavings are very long, thin shavings. So it's doing an excellent job. Again, if you want to make a big pile of shavings, which has a huge amount of surface area, that's really the point, to increase the surface area. You know, you want to light a big pile of your shavings on fire. Or again, if you had to shape a piece of wood in a particular way, if you were building a shelter or a trap or, you know, whatever you have to do, it's good at interacting with the wood. Now what I'm doing right here is making a curved notch. Now regarding notches, there's many different shapes. There's a square notch, you know, with basically 90 degree angles on both ends of the notch. There's like a V-shape, like 45 degree angles, you know, kind of a wedge-shaped notch. There are notches where it's a 90 degree angle on one side, 45 on the other. Now you see our curved notch is taking shape. The idea of the curve is that you get another branch whose natural curve will fit into that shape. See what I mean? All right, so our, our little notch is uh, taking shape, a little curved notch, you see it there. You know, so you get another branch and then you take your cordage, whatever cordage you carry, be it paracord or some natural material, and you see how that fits together, and you lash it together with cordage and make part of a shelter or a trap. Now here is the sheath. It's basically thick nylon with a single retaining strap. It's Molly compatible. You see the straps right there that can interweave into the Molly web gear. It does hold it in, but it's just a pretty cheap sheath. They do sell Kydex, okay, at the Pathfinder School, aftermarket Kydex. I do hope you enjoyed the demonstrations. So overall, you know, what was my impression of this blade? Well, the handle is very comfortable as it looks. Uh, the blade stood up to some abuse. Regarding batoning, I did uh, attempt to baton this through larger and thicker pieces of wood. The knife is just not very thick, so it just doesn't have that broad splitting geometry to make it an easy batoner. So really, unless you absolutely had to, I really wouldn't recommend it for batoning large pieces of wood, although you could with a lot of effort. You know, I, I did it as partly just to test the durability, but you see the blade there. You see the where the coating is worn away at the tip, at the bevel. You can see marks from sparks from the fire starter. I beat this knife up very well, and it did hold up very well. Now, it's fairly light, you know, not really a heavy chopper, okay, so don't, don't misuse it as such. So the question arises, why would you carry a, a bushcrafty knife that was six and three quarters inches as opposed to any of these shorter knives. You know, I can't really answer that for you. I don't know what you intend to use the knife for. A lot of people are not really bushcrafters, but are going to use it just for camping, like a camp knife or something. But with regard to slicing, um, a long slicer is usually better than a real short slicer. I mean, like, for example, if you were, just think of carving up a turkey. You know, would you carve it with a 3-inch knife or a 6-inch knife? Uh, the extra reach can be useful when stabbing something if, in some crazy scenario, you, you lash it to a, a stick and make a spear, you know, the reach would be useful that way. And, of course, with emergency batoning, it's a little better. But, you know, it, it's your preference. But overall... I am really glad they give you this option. The pricing has gone down from 100. Now it's currently down to 71. And I do believe that price will go down even further. Okay, hopefully 
into a good range that we're used to. Hope you enjoyed seeing this blade. I'm out.